Hi, this is Sally Jo from Garf, and this is the top view of one of my coral propagating tanks. And I wanted to show off this disc coral. It was, I had the mommy, I cut into like maybe 10 pieces, just like cutting into a piece of pie. They were triangle shaped and attached to a plug. And no more than nine months ago at the best. And you can see how the baby actually grew around and had several babies all around it. It's absolutely amazing. I'm working with a few other kinds of discs as well. You'll see the pink one here. There's green ones. And I don't know why the others that are propagated at the same time have one big round head and not all of these magnificent little ones all the way around it. This is amazing, and it's just absolutely incredible how these animals grow and adapt in captivity. This one propagating tank is on a four-tiered system where the bottom one is kind of like a sump, but not really because I still put corals down there. And then we have the three tanks, about one bucket in height apart from each other. You always have to get a bucket and tank one way or another, so it's always important to remember spacing and we kind of go by the bucket. But my mollies love to show off too. This tank probably holds about 500, if not, uh, I'd say between five to 600 pounds. And sometimes it's so sad to see some of them go. Now, I'm going to put the lid down. Again, it holds about 500 corals in here. And it has hard corals and soft corals. And the special that we're running on right now at Garth is you buy five, you get three free for $100. And you can tell us whether you want hard or soft or half and half package, and we'll pick you out the best animals possible. I love them all. It'd be hard for me to pick. And now please give us a call, 1-800-600-6163. Six, three. Thanks and have a great day. And here's another one of my propagating tanks. This is one of the four tiered propagating tanks. So we have one tank on top of each other. It's about spacing of one bucket, five gallon bucket in between each one. And of course it looks more like a molly grow out tank than does a coral pot. tank but it's both and these are my pom-poms I just uncovered last week I cut my zinnias and then I put right over the netting around them to hold them down and in about one to two weeks I just pull the netting off take the rubber band off and these baby babies are ready to go sit out in the tank until they're ready to sell where there's a clove collar and billiards Bogonians. I just absolutely love to decorate them. Here's some Anthelia growing right on the glass. And a lot of Anthelia growing on plugs. It's kind of funny because it's a little bit hard to grow. But once you get it going, ah, it's a farming gem because you can grow a lot of it. It's kind of funny because that's the way it is with most most corals. If you can get it going, it's going to be a long time friend. And every one of these moths are saying, "Take me, take me, take me."
This tank too is cleaned and maintained in a natural balance with the hermit crabs and snails. You don't see a speck of algae on anything. They do just such a great job. I'm so proud of them and the training program we put them through. If you have any questions or concerns or you need our help in any way, just give us a call. 1-800-600-6163. Thanks, and I hope to see you at one of the meetings or conferences that come up around the United States because we're traveling again.